I talked about leadership in my first video. How it is imperative that we get a different kind of leadership. How the world needs a different kind of leadership. I also talked about how that different kind of leadership is, in my opinion, not going to come from the top. It has to start with people like you and me, ordinary people. I also talked about how it is important that that leadership realizes that it is not just about us humans, but that we as humans, that the human species are part of nature and how when nature disappears, it cannot be any if any other way the human species will disappear too and I watched Sherry Miller's video this morning um, she rightfully said that if we as a human species continue on the way that we've been going we're going to be extinct now in part the way that we're going seems to be because we have disconnected from nature. We think that we can rule nature, that we can control her. And we can't. COVID-19 is a case in point. Nature, time and time again, proves that She's stronger than we are. But for us to realize that, for us to know that, we have to reconnect with nature. And I also talked about that. Because that is an integral part of what I do. That is perhaps the most important part of what I do. I bring you into the mountains with me away from, you could say, civilization, or mostly away from civilization, disconnected from the internet, no phone reception, and we walk, because that's what we are made for as humans. We are made to walk, and we, especially when we do this for four, or five, six days a week, our body, our being remembers that we are made for walking. We start living with nature's rhythm again, even if it's just for a couple of days, even if it's just for a week. The part that I like best about hiking in the mountains is the fact that even after all this time, all these years that I've been doing it, I can still be awed by the experience. I can come up after I've, I, have, I sometimes have struggled myself up the mountain, up a trail, and found it hard and exhausting. But I kept going and I come to the crest and I finally get to see what's on the other side and every time, okay, almost every time, I'm awestruck. I'm struck dumb by the beauty of it. I get so immersed in what it is that I'm seeing that I forget everything else. And it also isn't always the big things. Oftentimes it's just the small things. The incredible detail of a buttercup or a dandelion or whatever flower. There's pine trees that are with young shoots on them. When you take time to stop and look at the beauty of things. Nature is wonderful and we don't notice it often enough. And that's 
that's the beauty of bringing people into an environment like this away from everything they they open themselves up again to that experience they start to realize again just by moving so much through this landscape that we are part of it that this landscape is to be protected if we want when we want to survive so my question to you god this is a ramble this was <laughs> so my question to you is when was the last time that you were so immersed in nature so awestruck by nature that you forgot everything around you and what was it that made you forget everything around you as always go there greatly bye bye